Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue plays Gloomhaven on the Tabletop Simulator. I am joined once again by Frank and Lee. Guys, hello. Hi, hey. guys. Um, unfortunately, our brute, Ben, was not able to make it today, but that's okay. You know, it's a drop-in and out game. It's perfectly okay. Uh, I've up, uh, I've migrated our game from the version of Tabletop Simulator we were using to the updated mod. So that's why the table in the middle looks different. There's some new scripting functionality that we will hopefully get to see this episode. But we are in town. We have just finished driving Jexera out of the city by playing through Gloomhaven Warehouse. We killed another boss monster for Ben to keep track of. And, um, you know, I'm... We need to do a city event. Uh, and then we can go shopping. Uh, so let me pull one of these real quick. And we'll do it. You decide to head to the Brown Door for the evening to enjoy a quattro concert. Corruption and crime run rampant in the bar, but the music is unmatched in all of Gloomhaven. You are enjoying yourself immensely when you catch a glimpse of a man in a dark, tattered robe near the back of the room. He appears to be handing vials full of red liquid to a second man. Do we A. Further investigate the exchange between the two men, or B. Leave the criminal element alone and continue enjoying our show? I say we further investigate. I'm fine with that. Alrighty. We will state two. Flip it over. You subtly move in the direction of the men, monitoring their actions with your peripheral vision. You recognize the dark robes from the run-ins you've had with cultists in the area. And as you get closer, you become convinced that the vials being traded contain blood. You grab the men and cause a huge amount of commotion as you fight to drag them outside and foil their dealings. You are able to hand them off to the proper authorities, but it may be a while before you're allowed back in the brown door. You ruined the concert. Gain two rep. Awesome. Am Hello? I able to do that through the script? Let me see here. Toggles. No. No. Don't think so. All right. Well, that's perfectly okay. We'll just pump this up by two and drag this up here. Um, and every four points, this shop modifier reduces? Uh, not every four points, but uh. I think, well, we you know, we can just click it to find out. Nope. Seven will do ah. it. We're one Damn, off. we were just one short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, well. It's not the end of the world. Uh, so you're going to go shopping? Uh, for yeah. I would like to buy a minor power potion and the wing shoes. Just the wing shoes because I noticed in the previous couple of scenarios that the Tinker lost, uh, didn't have uh, some of the mobility I would like to have since yeah. sometimes I'm really running behind. Yeah. And with wing shoes, yeah. it just gives me an option to jump over some things. And to mine a power potion, I thought it would really work together with my net shooter and my, uh, what, what is it called, the ink, uh, the ink bomb? Yeah. When I hit multiple creatures at once. So those two items will cost 30 normally, but because of the reduced price, it will only cost me 28. It costs you two less, right. Yeah. Um, uh, what about you, Lee? Um, I still have to gather some more gold before okay. I, I get... The items I want. I. I don't know. I have 18 money. Um, I think. I think I'm going to get the ball rolling on this uh, donation thing. So I'm going to donate 10 gold to the Sanctuary of the Oak to get uh, some blessings for the next scenario we go to. Oh, nice. That's, that's really cute. However, I played this with some friends of mine, uh -huh. um, and they also bought that. Uh -huh. And you know how many blessings they got in, in the game? How many? Zero. Yeah, that, that has happened to me in the past. <laughs> but... and, and the other one also did the same, and she got one time a blessing, 
and that was when she rolled with disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so if we're all ready, let's choose where we go to next. As you guys can see, I've left the um, the scenario book open to the last scenario we did. Um, our oh. our options are the vibrant grotto, the temple of the seer, or the frozen hollow. I'll tell you, the vibrant grotto. We don't have the necessary achievements party or global to do it yet which leaves us at that or we can do one of the other scenarios we've unlocked already if you want uh we have two crypts we haven't gone to the vibrant lagoon we don't have a necessary ability to access we have to be able to breathe underwater and we can't do that ah um so we have the decaying crypt the ruinous crypt the Frozen Hollow, or down here, at the bottom of the map, the Temple of the Seer. Say, so, let's see, the, the crypts are either the Decaying or the Ruinist ones, and Ruinist is against, and the Decaying is with the Cultists, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, the uh, Ruinist Crypt, we would fight against the Cultists, the Decaying Crypt, we're trying to get on their good side. Then the Frozen Hollow is one that we unlocked via the... Via the, the warehouse. The warehouse. Mm -hmm. That, we're, we're trying to get a enchanter to help us track down Jaxera. Right, and the Temple of the Seer? Uh, the Temple of the Seer, we're trying to track down Jaxera through our own means. All right. Well, I am against the decaying crypt. Okay. Because that will help the cultist we're trying to stop. Right. So that one is off limits for me. Okay. Um, but for the other three, I don't have a preference. All right. Uh, what about you, Lee? Mm. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to pull out a p dice. Let's see... I say Temple of the Seer or the Crips, the other Crips one. Okay. Let's pull out dice. There. Okay. Um, let's do. Oh, you want to do Temple of the Seer or one of the Crips? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, pull some even. Yeah, we'll do Temple of the Seer is odds. And the crypt is evens. No, oh, come on, come on, come on. Can I only roll it three times? Come on, come on. All right, you know what I'm going to do with the way I like to do it. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and then... Try it on a four. Okay. So that is the crypts then, right? All righty. So, scenario number five. Let me move this out of the way. And I will open up with scenario five. Actually, we'll do a road event. Yeah. <laughs> and then scenario five. Those are so easy to forget, those events. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Heading out a little late, aren't you? The guard at the wall looks at you passively. You grunt in response and head through the opened gate. Nobody's going to go looking for your corpse if you don't return. The guard shouts at your back. You ended up embarking out on the road much later than you had hoped. Events in town saw to that. But as dusk settles on the horizon, you feel confident that you are up to any threat you might face. And then begins the howling of wolves. Vicious, foul beasts. And judging by their sounds, they seem to be getting closer. We can run from the howling, or let the wolves come. Oh. I think last time we ran away, we lost something important. <laughs> I think the last time we stood and fought and we uh, took damage. Uh, I thought we lost like a uh, mark on, but uh, with our notes, but uh, I think it's bad. Mistaken. I think it's bad either way. Um, 
So what do you guys want to do? Well, I'm fine with staying and fighting. Let him come. Yeah, let's let's fight them. Okay, we will stand and fight. Day three. Confident that the wolves pose no significant threat, you stand your ground and prepare for battle. The pack comes, ragged and hungry, slowly emerging from the dark, and surrounds your party. There are more of them than you expected, but not enough to take you down. You suffer a bite or two, but are able to fight them off. Start with three damage. <laughs> yeah. And it goes back in the pile. All right, game setup scenario. We want scenario number seven. Is that right? No, five. You five. Said. Okay. Thank you. Seven um, is the one that's locked. <laughs> let's see. Create map scenario one. Okay, create map. Ooh, look at that. It even passes out the battle goals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it didn't give us our scenario book, so I have to bring this one up and over. Yeah, that's because this one is out. That's okay. Uh, it did flip to the right book uh, page, so... All right, goal, kill all enemies. Your mission is clear. These elemental cultists are distorting the fabric of the world and must be stopped. With that goal in mind, you follow the writings to an ancient crypt you believe to be the cult's base of operations. Stealing yourselves for combat, you batter through the rotted door and charge into the hull of the crypt. The sight before you is both wondrous and horrifying. A group of cultists is, are performing ritual incantations in front of a black, gaping hole in reality. They turn towards you and snarl, unsheathing their sacrificial daggers. Behind them, an inky darkness spills forth from the hull and coalesces into nightmarish entities full of teeth and claws. You know you must send these terrors of the elemental void back into the void. Oh, wait. One of these arrows is blocking... And never mind. You can see it on the screen. You... No, you must send these terrors of the elemental essence back into the void, but you are paralyzed with fear. Special rules, characters start with disarm as a scenario effect. So, if you have the perk ignore scenario effects, you are not disarmed. So otherwise, that is both us. Otherwise, you start with disarmed on the first turn. What does this spell mean? Yeah, the Spellweaver can't even get that one. Uh, disarmed means you cannot attack for one turn. I cannot attack? Okay. Yeah, so you might use it to set up with some cards on your first turn. That's fine. Um, oh, and then... We're dealing with... We're dealing with the Shadow Demons, so that's disadvantage on attacks. That's not good. Oh, boy. Let's see here. We've got three rooms that we have to worry about. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I need to make sure my hand is what I want it to be. See there here. are two treasures. One in each room. Hack. Muddle. Oof, I think I want muddle. But what am I going to get rid of? Alright, well, we failed last... We, we failed our first attempt. We're going to try this again. We failed last time, but this time we know what we're doing. Hopefully we do better. I don't know. A lot of it is up to luck, but we'll try. And, and good management. I mean... Uh, well, I mean, we, we're great at that, right? <laughs> The problem, yeah. the big problem was just we left one just, enemy alive in the back row yeah. to recap. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's the management and and some terrible moments that we both had low low amount of cards when we were going to be attacked. And hopefully better battle goals for all of us. 
Well, oh. I did like my battle goal, but... <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Oh, but the other option is... Ugh, the other option is not something I want to try to do. Um, alright. Alright. Yeah, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, sort hand. Where's my... I'm up here. Okay. Well, I still think attacking the cultists first is the smart idea. But, yeah. but, um, I, before we switch rooms, I'm going to make sure this one's clear. Yeah. Uh, now, now I don't need to have uh, one on the battlefield every time, so now I'm not going to rush the door as hard. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we still need to we still need to be aware that we have a limited amount of turns before our yeah, hands but, run yeah. out. Yeah, but there's a difference between just going in that hard and yes, yes, I agree with you. Am I missing a cult? And that'll hit everybody right here. Are we still not able to attack since we came in here again? Uh, yeah, because it's on the scenario, uh, yeah. the disarm. So you are still screwed Disarmed, yeah. the first turn. Sorry about that, buddy. No, no worries. What am I going to do? We need to hit him hard and hit him fast. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Just pull him in. Okay. Yeah, that was a good that was a good strategy. Do that. Do more of that. Um Well if I only need to That one's probably the best one. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do the same thing we did last time. Or the first time. Okay. Alright, I guess we're ready to start. Start round. Oh god. Uh end round. I think you accidentally clicked it twice. Uh it's possible. I'm getting a little bit of stuttering right now. Okay. Better. Oh well, they got new calls now. Unfortunately the night demons go first. Move one. So he just has to step there, attack negative that one. That sucks. Well, you can still push him. No, I. it's pull. Oh, yeah, you can still pull him. Anyways. Um, negative one, negative one. So two damage to you, and he creates dark. And then this one. Um, oh, look at that. He'll move towards me. One two. At least our, at least our spellweaver is not starting off getting his butt kicked. Uh, so two damage to me as well. All right. Altus, go. Please don't summon. All right. It's the attack on death one. Um, number one will move one. Then number three will hit me. For zero. How much? What, minus one, so one minus one is zero. <laughs> okay. And then this one. Awesome. Good. Okay. Well, Tinkerer. The, the, the problem is, I can't peel the Night Demon into the trap now. I think you can. If you stand right here, oh, if you stand right here, you yeah. can pull him adjacent. Yeah? I don't Th think that so. That works? I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think that works, personally. Let me, let me look up polling real quick, just to be on the safe side. But I think if he's adjacent to you... You can't really pull him. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, it's You're probably right. It's not closer, so I doubt that. So I will just attack Cultist 5. Okay. For... 1 damage. Okay. And then... And then you're gonna move That's... him here? Yeah, and that was 3 damage, right? I think it's 4 now. We're on... 
We're on difficulty three. Let's see. Uh... It was on page 50. Yeah, four damage. Okay. Done and done. All right. Um, I am going to hmm. One, two, three. Does that work? No, it has to be a push. One. That sucks. So if I move one, two. No, I can't do that either. How am I going to get? Ugh. I can only move two. two All right, I got it. I got it. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to push the cultist in front of me. So three damage. And I push him one. One, two, three. And then I'm going to move two. Right there. Oh, nice. And, and then they all get one damage. damage. Yep. I already did cultist one. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and I create some earth. And I don't get that XP, but that's okay. That's my turn. Orchid? Spellweaver. Uh, Athena's. Athena. I forget. What was the name of your character? Athena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Change things. Uh, if you're gonna use mana bolt, consume that dark so the night demons don't yeah. get access to it. Since I'm not doing that. Uh, yeah, but you can't use... attack, right? Oh no, I can't attack. Oh yeah, you can't. I was just, I was Shoot. just gonna heal you guys. Okay. Um, fingers. Nope. You I could can also only summon one of you guys. You could also summon your mystic ally. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, I'll summon it. Okay. Yeah, it's the that's the best use of your Then I'll just discard that one. Okay. And I'm just gonna put this one right in front of me. Okay. Uh um, my turn. And round. Okay. And I can two experience for that. Alright, so I'll just have to edit around a little bit. Uh okay. Round start. Cultists go. Oh, cults go first. Okay, well, at least it's the on death thing. Um, oh, boy. So, number one will attack me for nothing. Number three for one. And then number five will attack the quattro for one. Uh, it's for two then, right? Because it's a plus one? Uh, no, because it's a attack negative one. So they're at zero. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm completely terrible at math today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but that on death, that on death thing really just messes me up. This one I'm fine yeah. with, but if I move here. Ugh, if I move here. If I stand here, I can hit this one, but I can't hit that one in the back. If I stand here... He'll die. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ah, oh, I mean, okay. You, I have a... you can move, move well, next to the spell weave, huh? But here's the thing. I can move to a position where I can hit every one of them on the board. Yeah. But... Just do that. Their on death thing will wreck you and me. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. It's only a plus two attack, so. I'm taking your. I'm taking your plus your consent. <laughs> so one, two. Ah, uh, all right. Better to clear the board than, than, than not to clear the board, in my opinion. Um. So I you can roll attack one. Yeah, I roll attack one on the cultist. So that's two damage. Two. Oh, I would have done the mighty. 
Well, I am going to do the... It says all adjacent enemies. Ah. Uh, but I get disadvantage on that one. So, but zero. zero. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Consume Earth. And then I hit... Attack 3. I hit enemies two spaces away. So I hit everything on the board. Alright, let's go with the Night Demon first. Uh, you also destroyed the... Uh... Summon. Isn't it enemy? Yeah, it says target no, all oh. adjacent enemies. Oh, oh, yeah. with my movement. No, no, that that was a no. heal. That was a heal. Right. No, all adjacent allies suffer oh, two damage. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, you know what? I don't want to stand there and do that to you. Um, Let's see, what's the range I can get where I'm not going to kill your... You only have to move two, right? So you well, can't if get I use any my boots, position. if I use my boots, uh, how can I hit? Then there is probably best the best place. Then one, two, three, four. I'll hit him too. Yeah, you're right. One, two, three. We'll still hit these two. Uh, yeah. I'll leave <laughs> the same night demon alive from last time. Oh, brother. All right. All right, I'm just going to roll for it. Uh, let's start with the Night Demon. So three damage. All right. Yeah. And did I you get... do this advantage on the Night Demon? Uh, I didn't. It's still three. Okay. One, two, three. Um, cultist number one. Before, yeah. Uh, if you could take care of that while I keep rolling, yep. cultist number five, the so three, which means he explodes, and then cultist number one, which means he explodes. So, and this guy's out of range. All right. Um, attack plus two. So we'll do the one next to me first. So two damage, and then the one next to you, Tinkerer. For Four damage. All right. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's fine. I so, did lose that card. It's better that we clear it a bit. I hit four enemies? Yeah. One, two, three, because I already added the Night Demon. And then one on the bottom. Okay. And that's a lost card. All right. Oh. So you only get one XP, right? No, I get one for each target and then one at really? the bottom of the card. Uh huh. It only says. Target all one enemies. XP. Oh, it doesn't say one for each. God. Yeah. Every time. I... All right. How many am I sitting on? Five, so I should have three less. One, two, three. Uh, thank you for catching that. I keep... uh, if, if if you see net shoot, it specifically says for each enemy. Yes, I keep reading it wrong. But it's your turn. Ah, nice. I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, to the coin. Okay. Because why not? Uh, and he's immobilized, but that's not really going to do anything because he's not moving this turn. Okay. And then? And uh, then I'm just going to shoot him with the Toxic Bolt. Okay. For plus two. So that's two damage. Okay. And, uh, and a potion. I've already added that. All right. Uh, Spellweaver, your right. minion goes first. Gonna attack uh, demon, night demon too. Okay. And that's with disadvantage, right? Yes. Wouldn't he attack an um, the elite because it's closer? It would have been a oh yeah. It would I be the same not. damage. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, how the much one damage? Closest, but, uh, did I just roll? Uh, it was like a plus uh, zero. Zero. So three. Three plus the poison. Yep. Cool. And then, well, his base is three, so add one for the potion. Right, which I did. Ah. 
And then it's your go. Then I'm going to attack him with uh, the frost armor, the attack, and I'm going to consume dark. Okay. Unless you miss, you kill it. <laughs> Three damage. You got to roll disadvantage, though. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Which one were you attacking? The elite? Uh, or this guy? Demon. Demon 6. Okay. And then... Nice. <laughs> He's not going to attack. <laughs> then I'm going to attack Demon 2 with the bottom card of uh, Flame Strike. Okay. So 2 damage. So 2. Yep. Okay. Good turn. Good turn. Am I forgetting... Yeah, that didn't happen. Okay. I, I didn't think it was going to. There's no way. Uh, all right, Night Demon. Um, attack one, attack one, pierce, consume light. None of those things can happen on his turn. So <laughs> that's okay. that's a good turn. All right. Good job. Let's see here. You know, I think we should take out the flame demons first because they're harder and yeah. we're going to waste more resources hitting them. So, yeah, I agree. We can plan around what we have left for the frost yeah. demons. Do we want to open the door and then move out and let them get closer? Well, they're or? flying, so it won't matter a single uh, bit that yeah. they're. Right. The obstacles on the ground. Boy, I could use some healing, but... I think I'm going to set up my healing for now. Move a little. Yeah, I'll figure out something. Yeah, alright, alright, I got it. I'm going to use... Well, no, I'm going to edit out all that silence. All right, I think I got what I want. We're ready to go. Let's start. Spellweaver, your go. Oh, okay. So, Let's see here. Uh, my ally's going to attack Night Demon 2. Okay. For two damage or three? Three. Okay. That kills him. Um... Oh, dang. You could hit Cultist 1 with Icy Blast because of the honeycomb. Yeah. Or you um, could... Oh, no, it has to be a mobile. Uh, adjacent. So, never mind. Yeah. Or you could just not attack. Yeah. If you don't want to lose. I'm just, I'm just going to heal... Uh, oh, dang it. That was close enough for me for that one. Except for the 4 heal... Maybe, uh, maybe just spend the turn getting closer to the door. Uh, and two. I'll move. Yeah, move on to the coin. That's probably the best option. Uh, actually, I'm going to move over here, and then I'm going to heal the right. Tinkerer for six. Alrighty. Isn't it either move or or heal? Yeah, or you both? can't. You can't because your heal was on the bottom of that card. You can't move and heal. Oh, oops. So it's better to move up to, to okay. the null. Hold on, I don't remember what cards I just like laid down. Let me put them up there. Uh, you had yeah, and then you had this one here on top. Yeah. So the... can, can you push him into the trap? Push two, yeah. I might be able to. Yeah. Uh, you were right here next to your. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm just going to move to this coin then. 
Okay. And then not do anything. All right. Yeah, it's probably better. Um, because you can get those cards back without losing anything. Yeah. All right. Night demons are dead. Tinkerer. I'm going to move. Grab this coin. Which one are you moving to? Oh, there. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to activate my healing thingy. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Just to set it up for next turns. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to move... To the coin as well. <laughs> uh, I've got a range of three. One, huh. two, three. And shoot the cultist. For two? Yeah. But then it's dead. All righty, that's it. That's the end of the round. Called no more. Uh, I was hoping you would push it into into the traps. But... All right, rounds ready. Uh, good. Okay. Uh, this is exactly what I was afraid would happen. Um, that's your I first. Will take, <laughs> I'll take four damage for stepping on the spike trap. Open the door. Come on, door open. There we go. I didn't click the button properly. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, this goes away. Oh boy, they're going to attack really hard. Goes away. All right. Uh, generate Earth. Let's do... I have attack three, range three. So I'm going to hit the one in the middle with my bow so I ignore shields. Two damage. Okay. One, two. But I also splash so they each take one damage. Good. All right. Do I have my targeting? No, of course I don't, because that would make it too easy. <laughs> uh, I wish I had my extra ammunition for a second target. Oh my god. All right. All right, living bones go. Uh, this one moves four. One, two, three, four. This one moves three. One, two, three. They have no range, so they're done. Then the flame demons attack zero, consume fire for an area of effect. Is there fire? No. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think we're on four. Oh, that's not that's a... Um. All right. So what's the range? Three? One, Three. So two. two of them attack. You... Right. And so only demon six doesn't. One, two, and then six will have to move. Oh, no, he can't. Right, right. Because he doesn't have move on his card. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number one hits me for plus one. What is that, four damage? Yep. All right. One, two, three, four. Number two shoots me. I'm going to have to ditch a card. Um, And then that's their turn. All right, Tinkerer. Oh, boy. I was hoping they would move <laughs> so I could get them in my area of effect. Now I can't. Yeah, I'm going to claim this coin. And I will attack Living Bones with my crossbow. Let's be real here. It's probably this one I should ditch. Uh, you're going to move there. Uh, who are you shooting? Uh, the Crankbow right. for six on Mr. Living Bones 1. Okay. And that's a kill. Oh, God. Yeah. Even with the... Um, that's a 12 damage, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Good job. Well, if you had the battle goal of killing an enemy in one blow... <laughs> I just completed it. 
Uh, is that <laughs> you would have to battle goal if, if in in overkilling someone. I would have gotten it as well. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. All right, Spellweaver. What are we looking at? Here? Uh, well, I, I'm going to reclaim a card, but okay. Thing. What do you have to Spellweaver? I'm muted. Moving two from the ally. Oh then... right, right. My attack. Okay, I think I'll do that. One, two. I can move through your space, right? You can. Three, four, and then I'm gonna cast a icy blast. Good call. On all three of those dudes. All right, I'm creating ice for you. Thank you. Uh, tell then me we'll which just, order you're attacking. We'll go ice. from bottom to top. So two first. All right. Uh, you don't have any piercing ability, right? No, I don't. And your base attack is three? Yeah. Oh, uh, so that just get the so shield, two, huh? Right? Yeah. Base attack is two. Did, did, don't forget to move your... Uh... He did. I did. All right, Dang, All right so, so that negative do... one won't do anything. All right. That'll do. So that's four in total, so that's one damage. Which one were you hitting? Flame Demon. Uh, the middle bottom one. and the top. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so he's dead. Top. That's good. And the other, other one. There's nothing. Well, it only has three... Sh oh, yeah. Three shield. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. But its attack is only plus two, so... Uh, yeah. But that does muddle, right? Yes. Yes. It yeah. does. And you get two XP, so... That's a, that's good. Muddle the um, ranged enemies. That's good. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. All right. And around. New round. Tinkerer, you're up. Noise. So that is a U five on Greg, and a U two on my or U four on myself. Much appreciated. All right, Spellweaver, what are we looking at for you? Uh, frost armor, and then I'm going to attack all three. Um, you'll have disadvantage on the skeleton. That's fine. And we'll start off with... What is one, that? Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, I was just making sure they were all arranged. All right. And we'll just start with two, I guess. Number two? Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm going to use the goggles for advantage. Okay. And risk it. Might as well see what's up. Nope. So that's a four damage? Four. So it'd be one damage, right? Okay. And then number six. I think you get advantage oh. on the entire attack. Oh, do I? Mm hmm. Yeah. One. So another one. Okay. Not and bad. The one to the right beside me. Yeah, you don't need disadvantage for that. Uh, he's got one shield, so he takes three damage. Okay. And that ends my turn. All right. Well, you get you oh. get one XP for each enemy targeted, and we create fire. All right. All right. I. Oof. Oh, I'm going to move my creature up. Oh, yeah, your creature dead. was supposed to go first. Yeah, yeah. It, it can't attack anyways. Uh, who's going to go for the treasure, by the way? Uh, Well, I'm busy trying to stay alive and kill these guys. <laughs> I don't think I have a loot card in my deck. Oh, you don't need a loot. You just need oh. to stand on it. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to activate backup ammunition and heal for two, because there's nothing else I can do. All right. I'm no I'm not going to be able to hurt these guys. And they're going to be able to hit me. So um Yeah, but they're going for the spell weaver, both of them, all of them. Uh you've got frost armor on, right? Yep. So you'll be able to take two shots. Um Yeah, but the living bones is first. Right. Said so living bones is going to attack. Uh so it doesn't matter what he rolled. It negates. For four. <laughs> uh, don't forget that you get the 
XP for XP, that. XP, yeah. Okay. Number two? It's moving over there, and it's like Spellweaver. Well, will he attack Spellweaver? Yeah. If I'm closer? Uh, I guess it's the Both same. Both of you are same distance. So. Yeah. One, two, three. He doesn't even have to move. He just no, he has to move because it's range minus one. Oh, I was looking at the living bones. Okay. Attack plus and one. And I have disadvantage. It, it won't matter. He has disadvantage. He can miss. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It's negated by frost armor. One, two. So he'll have to move. Yeah. And also disadvantage. He could miss. Oh, no. Nope. Wrong one. Uh, so he does three damage to you. So, three damage? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, not a bad round. Frost armor save in the day. Um, I need to take a short rest. Oh, yeah. Or a long rest next round. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Pump out all the damage I can. I only have one card left, so that's not going to happen. Uh, it needs to be a short rest. I mean, I, I can kill both demons now easily. Uh, I would still rather help than. I mean, just take just go rest. for the for the treasure. So it's fine. All right, I'd still rather help than take a, sh a long rest. I mean, the chance of me missing is one in eighteen. So. <laughs> God, don't right. tell me the odds. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a short rest. Okay. All right. Starting around. Spellweaver. Your right. minion can't move, moves up, right? Moves up too, right? Oh, oh, moves oh too. yeah, yeah, okay. I was thinking he has to stand where you're standing. Um, Could I choose who it attacks, or does it attack the closest one? It, it wouldn't attack the one that gives it disadvantage if it has a choice. So I'm going to so kill uh, Living Bones 3. Mm. Alright. Ooh, wow. That's your plus 2, but that'll kill him. So. And then... I'm going to heal myself for 4. Uh, you know that this is a lost card, right? And if you do that, you get exhausted. Will I? I have yeah, one? because then you only have two cards in your discard pile. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Alright, so then... Yeah, I would attack with Flame Strike and move with Freezing Nova. Out of there. Move out of there. Yeah, okay. move two back. Alright, so I'm going to attack with uh, Flame Strike and I'm going to consume fire. Can you hit number two so you clear a path for me? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to wound. So even if you don't do any damage, which you do, uh, what is that, four damage? It's three plus one is four, yeah. So he's dead. Awesome. Uh, I'm that sucks. Two away. <laughs> this, really too, this really sucks. Does it? Yeah. It's less XP for me. Oh, I see. You don't even need to attack this turn. You could race for the treasure chest. Uh, why would I do that? I don't know. It was just a suggestion. Yeah, but if you attack, I mean, you don't have to attack, but... I can also just heal someone. Does anyone need healing? Not really. Yeah. We have two, three cards there. What's there? You know what? I'm just going to collect that coin here. Okay. And then he uh the spell we for four five. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Alrighty, Living Bones are all dead. Flame Demon is going to attack me. Oh, wait or a minute. My ally. The ally is closer. Is there any fire? No. Good. Okay. Oh. Well, that's four damage. Out. 
should have. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You can you can recover it, right? And then you yeah, again. you will recover it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, that's extra XP for you. All right, my turn. I am going to... I am going to move one, two, three, and attack this guy. Three. Seriously? Seriously? Ah, uh, okay. All right. I still push him. Just out of spite. Push. Dang it. All right. You guys, just leave me here with this joker. I'll take care of him. Go, go to the bottom and open that door. Before you run out of cards. Uh, Alright. We're all ready to go. Start a round. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm going to move two. And make him suffer damage. And he's dead. Okay. And that's my turn. Because I can't really do anything else with the top card. Uh, so flame demons are gone. And it's you guys' turn. Uh, Tinkerer. Uh-oh. Oh, oh alright. Something happened there real quick. Uh, I can't hear you, DeBoss. If you're talking. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm going to move there and then heal myself for a lot. Uh, move where? Oh, right in front of the door. Okay. Alright. Uh, Spellweaver is long resting. Uh, so that means you're getting these cards back. Your hit points and your glasses or your goggles. Yeah. I send a card to the lost pile, right? You still do send a card to the lost pile. Yeah, okay. All right. Do you guys mind if I grab the treasure chest? No, go ahead. That was the point, right? Yeah. I just really. I just don't I know like if you want me to join you down there or not. Uh. I'm taking a short rest. Uh, okay. And I think I'm going to open the door. So, Bellweaver, please get close, so if you can. Or are you not? I'll get there as fast as I can. <laughs> two, 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 two. All right, oh, I he has it. the boots, right? <laughs> oh, he doesn't have boots. It's the other guy. Damn it. Yeah, he doesn't have any boots. We need to get... Spellweaver, you gotta be a little more greedy, man. We gotta get you some money. It's hard to move around with, like, the certain cards I have. I, I, know. Need to keep. <laughs> I know. It's a little unfair to you, but I know. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright. Let's end this round. Uh, we're waiting for... Speaker. No problem. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... Alright. Uh, can I just tell you guys how much I miss going out and getting Chinese food? Or Asian food, I guess. Uh, the Can't Chalming... you order in at the huh? moment? Uh, I don't know, orders at the moment? Or take no, the places around me are closed because of the... Yeah. Um, I mean, I can go to the grocery store and pick up food like that, but it's not the same as having it freshly made. All right, Tinkerer. I was just thinking about that. I'm jonesing for some orange chicken and some chow oh. mein. Oh, move to the door. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, here most most takeout and um, delivery places are open. So yeah, it, it's all the burger places around me are still open, but none of the Asian food. I, I will throw my uh, net shooter over them. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Again, it's over these guys. All right. So tell me which one you're attacking first. Uh, let's go for demon tree first. Okay. That is uh, three damage. Okay. 
And they don't and have the shield, other one, thankfully. For two damage. Was that four or six? Uh, six. Okay. And they're immobilized, right? Yeah. Okay. Need to draw the cards for them. Uh, yes, I will. Oh, all right, you did this it. Frost is fine. The living bones here. All right. Bones living bones go next. Go uh, let me know when you're done. Oh, yeah, I'm done then. Okay. So bones move negative two. So two and one. Wow, this is almost a repeat of uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last game. Yeah. Uh, all right, spell weaver. Uh, move two, then cover all lost cards, and that's it. Okay. Alrighty. My turn. I am going to. I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. And that's the best I can do. Yeah, that's the best I can do. This card. Frost Demons, uh, they don't have range. But they move, this one moves over here. Yeah, uh, area, create ice? What am I looking at here? Oh, they're attacking. Yeah, so they attack an area, right. uh, but they can't. Ice. Create ice, which I did, and then this one moves two. Yeah, it's almost uh, exactly oh, yeah. a recreation. Yeah. All right, and around. All right. Next turn, start. Oh, God. Okay. They go first. Lovely. Yeah. Well, they shield up. That sucks. But that's not a problem. They move. Uh, plus one. Wait, wait. Thank you. Right. Plus one. Consume fire, if one of you could do that for me. They move four. One, two, three. Frost demons suffer one damage if they consume fire. Was there fire on the board? No. No. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? They just shield and move? Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you lucky son of a gun. One, two. And they block it up so that the <laughs> bone guys can't nice. hit you. Okay. Well, um, that one will stand there. That one will stand there. Uh, can't he like, move one closer? Come on. Which one? The, 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 the non-elite. It's like... Well, they... No, no, they can't. But it's they like, move two. If you... Technically, yeah. uh, I guess technically that's closer for him. Yeah. This one wouldn't move there because it's no, not I know. as far. But all right, and they heal, but that doesn't matter. Uh, all right, Cragheart, I am going to loot one, and that's it. So let's click on this. What did I get? Come on, what did I get? Flip. Unlock. Flip. Treasure 28. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Discard. Right. Spellweaver. <laughs> Spell right. Going to move three up to here. Then cast Icy Blast starting with that uh, number four, dude. So, honey... Could I have it honeycomb to hit all three of those? Uh, I think you can hit... What's the range? Wait, 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 wait. You can hit three... three. Three is the range. Three is the range, so you would... So if I start it off on this dude, and get it off to the right side instead of centering it. I mean, you can you would center hit... it on him. It, yeah, if you center it on this guy, you'll hit all... You'll hit three, one... Up. Oh. Yeah. You'll hit all of them. If you center no, no. it... I wanted a center to start off this dude, so it's focusing on the I Frost Demon 4, then the Living Bones. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the honeycomb will hit all four of them, regardless of which one you attack first. Wait, how? You Wait. also hit full stream in three. Yeah. No, that means if I put put it any further, it's gonna hit the tinker. No, you no, don't hit allies. Yeah, it doesn't Come say it hits allies. allies. Oh, then yeah, then I'll attack all four of them. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to create ice for you. Uh, tell me which one you're attacking first. Uh, let's go from left to right. So three. Okay. That's zero damage. 
Zero. Oh yeah, they've got the shield. It's, it's plus two, and everyone has shield, so. <laughs> then yeah. Then four. Oh. Then it's, wow. Then the living bones. Uh, let's go for one. Okay. So, so two. That is no damage. Yeah. Another one. Oh god. No damage. Wait, wait, wait. It's too late but they're now. All muddled. It's too late now. I was gonna ask you to use your Okay. Yeah. yeah. To use the goggles. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's oh, too late now. Yeah. But they're all muddled, so that's something at least. And you get some XP. Ouch. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. More XP for me, right? <laughs> uh. Well, you're also less likely to be murdered by them. Uh, all right, it's your turn, Tinker. I am going to throw an ink bomb on all of them. Are so you... on the Demon Four, Living Bones one, and the other right. one. Well, you'll get disadvantage for the Demon. Uh, that's fine. I will use my Mind of Power potion, and I will use Piercing Bow. Okay. So that's no shields and a five attack. All right. Tell me which one you're hitting first. Five Let's attack. go for Living Bones 1 first. Alright, 5 attack. So he's dead. That's 6, so he's dead. Then Living Bones 3. 6 damage. Uh, okay. 1, 2. Is that with shields or without? Uh, I ignore all shields on this attack. Right, right, right. Okay. And then on the last one, with disadvantage. Okay. So five. two shields. No, five. no shields. Oh right, thank you. Five damage. <laughs> yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah, you just said it one second ago. You just said it. <laughs> shields? No shields. <laughs> <laughs> let's ignore all shields. Okay. And let's think. Am I going to move? Yay or? Yeah. Alright, so they're muddled until their next turn, but there are no more shields. So. Uh, okay. I will move back over there then. Okay. Good plan. Alright, I need to take... I'm gonna take a long rest. I also need to find treasure chest number 28. Um, Frank. Yeah. Do you remember how to get the treasure chests to pop up? The, the oh rewards. yeah. Well, where is it? Uh, it's number. Where did you put it? I right here. It's right here. I think you need to change the state to two. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. So that's fifty gold. I'm gonna do fifteen. Oh, oh, son of a, okay, awesome. You know what? I'm not going to move last turn. It's smart. I'm going to stay right there. Okay. Let's choose this one. Man, that was, that was driving me crazy. Fantastic. All right, so I get 15 gold from that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put it on my character sheet and then add it up at the end. Otherwise, I will forget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you're going to collect coins. <laughs> Sorry. Are you taking a long rest uh, dialogue? I'm taking a long rest. All right. I want to get my boots back so I can charge back into combat with you guys. Yeah. All right, we're ready for uh, the next round. I've stopped keeping track of what the round is. Holy crap. Uh, Living Bones will do... Shield and you. Okay, and Muddle's gone. Uh, Tinkerer, what do we got here? Okay. 
I'm going to attack five on the living bones. Okay. Ah, bloody hell. Ooh, you still get the XP, but dang, that's a yep. loss. Yeah, you still... Then I'm going to, to attack three again on him again. Okay. All right. <sighs> well... Just one damage. Yeah. It's all right. It's one more damage than he had previously. Yep. All right, Frost Demons. Um, number three is going to attack you. Uh, consume any to create ice. So he will get rid of dark. The pump. Nope, 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 nope. That's my fault. Ice. Go. <laughs> uh, negative one. Oh, yes, so... disadvantage. Oh, right. Thank you. So negative two. So, uh, so, so one, one damage. damage. One damage to you. Oh, it's not right. fine. <laughs> all right. All right. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Uh, number four. Okay. So two damage. And he's no longer muddled. And then number six can move <laughs> two, and he can't get anywhere. Uh, Spellweaver. All right. Uh, oh. You there? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I chose the wrong card that I wanted to use, but okay. Just attack and summon your mystic ally. That should be fine. Yeah, you can yeah. shoot through. Summon that again. Okay. Don't forget the XP. Sure. Summon him down, right? Yeah. And All right. Then I'm just gonna, oh, attack. I'm gonna consume that ice. Okay. And attack for plus three. Nice. Which one are you yeah. shooting? Um. Who should I attack? Um, you're doing four damage or three. It would be. I think it's a total of three. Yeah. Um... For me. I would shoot. I would shoot this one just because if you roll a negative mm. one, you'll still have enough. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll attack that one then. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so he's dead. All right. Uh, Crackheart is resting, so I'll gain two hit points back. I'll get all the goodies back. Including my boots. Let's see. Ah, oh, did I yeah. never use... I never used this. Oh, what a waste. Did I consume ice or no, I didn't? You did. Yeah, yeah but so you didn't it. click on it yet. Oh, okay. okay. And end around. Okay. I need to get rid of one of these. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this one. It's never... Well, uh, it's got the movement on it. Yeah. Ready to throw it to you? I'll get rid of this one. Sure. Oh! Ah, it went into the... <laughs> Here. It's out. All right. Good. Thank you. I'm going to take a short rest. Okay. We're all ready to go? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, next turn. Bellweaver, your minion goes first. All right, it's gonna move two over here. And Wait, uh, wouldn't he just attack from where he was standing? Uh, the range of two, walking. right? Yeah. yeah, he would attack from where he was standing and just attack the frost demon. Wouldn't that like not be in line of sight or no? No, he can. Yeah, hit you have that line one. of sight. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll attack from there. All right, that's three damage, right? No, never mind. Never mind. Miss. That's a miss. <laughs> oh, well, at least right. that miss is out of your deck. Right. And then... Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then I'll just attack. Uh... Two, three. Yeah, I'll use the... Three. 
Uh, you're going to need to move if you want to attack anybody. Uh, no, you can just use move on the spike trap. They're not going to be able to hit you. Yeah, I'll just... Oof. Four damage, right? Four damage, yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh... Uh, I would use flame strike to attack now. Uh, uh, yeah, that extra damage. Yeah, I'll attack it. Okay. Uh, three. Four damage, yep, he dead. Okay. Um, is that it for you? Yeah, that'll be it. All right, Tinkerer. Tinkerer will heal himself for three. Okay. And then uh, I will return one lost cards for an ally. So Spellweaver can re recover a lost card. Alrighty. And I get two XP. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna move. Also, finish this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's really all I can do. So, discard, discard. All right, bones go. Negative one move. Negative plus uh, plus one attack. <laughs> Negative plus one. So a base of four. Uh, four damage. All right, and then move minus one, attack zero, area. Yeah, he attacks two squares next to him. Yeah, but he can't hit anybody other than you. Nice. So, and he creates ice. So, it's three. Oof! Good thing you did all that healing. <laughs> All right, end round. I'm taking a short rest. Okay. I want to go before him, but I want Spellweaver to go before me. <laughs> I can't tell you the number I'm laying down, right? No. Nah. No, nah, it's. Enough, Wait, though. why is this one here? I used my ink bomb already, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So Maybe, it Maybe it was an accidental. Maybe it was an accidental click. I won't do it like this. All right, I'm ready. Okay, start round. Cool. Bell Weaver. I'm gonna heal nice. the four. No, first your your thingy. Oh yeah. Your little guy. Uh, I'll attack the living bones, dude. Are you okay? <sighs> If I use the goggles, do I get advantage for the minion, the no. ally? Uh, no, okay, no. for sure. Uh, oh, it's oh that, plus so. two, yeah. Wow, you killed the, the, he killed the elite. It killed the elite. It killed the elite, nice. If you can kill the frost demon, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see then. Uh, yeah, fire orbs. <laughs> okay, we just go all in. And then, uh, if I need to, I'll use the goggles for advantage. Okay. Yeah, sure. Use the goggles. Yeah, plus one. So, so four. Is, uh, four damage. Yeah. Uh, you create, uh, you get XP, and we create fire. And then I'm going to heal you to four. All right. Well, I think right. I'm going to oh, kill you it. Oh, create so... light. I keep forgetting that ability creates light. I don't yeah. think you... I don't think we've I done it. I've never used it. <laughs> yeah. I think you should loot, uh, Crack. <laughs> oh, that's what I was planning on doing, because I wasn't going to make it to you. No. Yeah, I loot one, so I take these two. And, and I'm not going turn. to make it to, to the chest. It's too far. I don't know. We can keep this guy alive. Oh, except for the minion will kill him. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to use my uh, re 
Invigorating Elixir to to just hit the Frost Demon. Okay. For the normal two attack. Okay. So that's that. Uh huh. And he's dead. And there's a coin there now. So I, I will see... pick up all five coins with my loot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Kaching, wow. <laughs> Kaching indeed, guys. Holy crap, that's nine <laughs> coins. Um don't feel too bad. The treasure chest was just fifteen more coins. So and then this is better. <laughs> we do five coins for how much each? Uh, three. Uh, three each. Three each, so that is uh fifteen coins yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we're not losing a unique item. That's what I was trying to get uh, at. All right. Uh, that's the end of... Let's see here. Let me read the thing, and then I'll click battle um, uh, scenario one. Why does it do that when I hold down the button? Uh, conclusion. As the cultists send their minions... Well, with the cultists send their minions dead... It seems the Dark Rift is now dormant. I can't read... Can you read this with the... How do I re remove this? Yeah, sure, I can read it easily. I've got page yeah. markers on it, and I don't know how to get... Uh, I don't have that. So. Alright, uh, what is this word after, uh, before disconcerting? You could just... Uh, less. Oh, it's man. no less disconcerting. However, you toss a rock at it, and the rock disappears into nothingness. You must admit that you wonder whether you could enter the rift yourself, and whether you could survive the trip to wherever that rocks ends up. Alternatively, or alternately, uh, finding some way to close the rift is probably a more prudent decision. Uh, there is an... A seer. Eat a seer, yeah, so, seer, a chanter in Gloomhaven, who may know more about this interplanar stuff. She's known, she's been known to ask Impossible favors before she helps anyone, though. So we so add an... elemental plane of power. We add. And C7 at 10. Frozen Hollow, we already have. Forgotten Crypt, M7. Uh, M7. Right there. Forgotten Crypt? Yes. You got this one? Yeah, plane of elements power. Yep. All right. Uh, flip the page. That's it. All right. So, game setup scenario one. It's still loading. Okay. Uh, I missed something. It recovered Spellweaver and Tinkerer's hit points. Yeah, but it doesn't give you the XP or the coins. Error in script. Function. Spawner clicked. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. I wonder what that means. I'll have to look it up. But, um... Oh, maybe that... Maybe that's this little... Maybe that's this yeah. thing. Maybe it's minion. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, it didn't give us our XP and it didn't give us our money. So, well, we'll still have to do that on our own. Yeah. Um, so neither of us leveled up. I next. didn't level up either. Well, you, I'm a 25 you, short. <laughs> you're already <laughs> at the next level. It's not my full time collecting XP like nobody's, uh, like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, uh, the Tinker is actually pretty good at that. Mm. I won't, I won't uh, fault you for that. Please, something of interest, sirs. The words come through in chitters and hisses. You turn your head toward an alley in the Ward of Scales to see a harrower dressed in crude robes and a mask. It holds out a piece of parchment. Something for sirs. Very powerful. Just five gold. You can see the parchment has the designs for something on it, but still, you recognize this harrower. It is known for trading in disreputable goods. You can't know where that parchment came from, and if anyone saw you dealing with this creature, well, they might get the wrong idea. 
Uh, a harrower for you guys' information is like a hive of insects that have joined together to form a humanoid shape. Each harrower is made of different bugs, but just to give you an idea. All right. Uh, make a deal with the harrower or shake your head and walk away. Best not to take chances in such situations. Uh, well, seems shady, but I am interested in the design as a drink. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> only five gold, right? That's true, but knowing the game, it's probably someone will see and we will lose reputation. <laughs> but I, I say we make the deal. So. I'm, I'm interested in the paper. <laughs> what about you, Lee? Let's do it. All right. Good. I don't know this one, so this is a bit, this will be interesting. Pay five collective gold. Intrigued by the parchment, you quickly make a decision to buy it off the harrower. harrower. The exchange is fast, and then you move on your way, hoping no one saw you. Gain a random, random item design. Reputation, if it's below nine, we lose one. All right. um, I will pay one gold for this. I will pay uh, the rest then. Four? I'll put two. Okay. I'll put two in. All right, so I'll pay two then. Um, let me see here. Gain a random item design. All right. That is, um, all right. So I'm going to shuffle this up. All right. Pull the top one off there, DeVos. Ooh, <laughs> Wanda Darkness. Wanda Darkness. Oh, okay. Um, I think what I need to do is find the Wand of Darkness in here, and we add it to the shop. Oh, it's to the shop and not to... we don't get it. Um, it goes into the shop. I might be wrong about that. I will look that up offline between episodes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just leave it... Actually, you know what? I'll just leave it right here for now. Uh, and we lose one reputation, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, we were I mean, look. We were only at negative one, right? We need uh, we need two before we get another upgrade. Yeah. So it would have been worse if we would have been on seven. Yeah, it definitely would have been worse. All right. Well, I'll take care of all of that at the end of next episode. Uh, until then, thank you, viewer, for joining us. Stay safe, and God bless you.